Welcome to you, to the Hawthorns, the home of West Bromwich Albion Football Club. Alan Smith is alongside me, Martin Tyler. Our football is from the EFL Championship in England. West Bromwich Albion against Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first ten minutes, how these teams approach the task. Thank you, the Hawthorns. It's going to be very tough for the opposition today to break down the home team's defence. When you look at the stats, very few teams have broken them down. And I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. It starts at the front with the strikers. The team now for you for West Bromwich Albion. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated, otherwise this formation will not work. A penalty at Derby. It's a penalty for Preston North End. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Oh, he's blasted it miles over. What a poor penalty. Eight minutes played. It remains nil-nil. Thanks, Alan. That's cut out. Won it back with an interception. Filip Kravinovic. Intercepted here. Just break off for a moment to bring in Alan McAnally here, who's got some news for us of a goal at the Bristol City match. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Keeper's ball. Filip Kravinovic. Bringing us up to date at Huddersfield now is Alan McAnally with a goal to tell us about, I believe. It's a goal for Birmingham City. It's been scored by Alvaro. He could have hit it hard, but instead he lifted it delicately over the oncoming goalkeeper with a lovely finish. 23 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Well, here it is. And that is quite a wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball. Kravinovic. Impressive in possession, passing's good, possibly dangerous. Great interception. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Patiently building up. At the Kirklees Stadium for us today, Alan McAnally with news of a goal, Alan. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. 28 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Still passing, but not really making inroads. 
Saw that coming and intercepted. The hosts have controlled possession here so far, but I don't think the manager will be happy down there watching this performance. He would have been expecting more, the fans would, and I was. You have to feel that they will step it up sooner or later. On the attack here. Mateus Pereira. Put the ball into the middle. Dangerous. And a goal! And they've opened the scoring now. Well, that's the sort of cross that they've got at the end of a good passage of passing. The sort of cross, Alan, you'd have loved to have been on the end of. Oh, not many. I mean, he didn't have a whole lot of room there, did he? He didn't actually beat his player, but he just swung it round perfectly. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Difficult for the defender against a player who wants to take him on like this. Still searching for an equaliser. There's some good interplay here. Had a dig, but didn't really dig deep enough to get the reward. Yeah, over-ambitious to say the least, that one. Careless there. It will be a free kick. Spotted that well and intercepted. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Probing the pass. Boyce! Oh, it's a great goal! What's gone wrong here, Alan? Losing concentration after scoring a goal themselves? Yeah, I just don't think they got back into their shape. Still thinking about that goal, and they've been made to pay for it. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. The fourth official has indicated well, two the minimum added of minutes. two minutes of added time. So here we are at half time and it's one one. And the ball is on the roll again and the second half is underway. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. That'll be a throw. Filip Kravinovic. Here's Harper. Let's check in with Alan McAnally at Huddersfield with some goal news. It's a second goal for Huddersfield Town. 46 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Saw the pass and dealt with it. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition. Excellent interception. Sheffield Wednesday's next game, Alan. They're playing Birmingham City in their next match in the Championship. And uh, I think this cup tie will be extremely tight. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. At the Stoke City Stadium, there's been some significant action of goal, in fact, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Stoke City. It's been scored by Nick Boyce. Maybe not too many options for him. He went for the shot from that tight angle. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can uh, catch the goalkeeper unawares, but you've got to get it on target.
Well, it's fast and furious. We had to cut across Alan McAnally there. Apologies to Alan for that. Confirming for you, Stoke City scored in that game. And they are winning by two goals to nil. Time to get the ball in. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Just lost their way at the crucial moment of that counter-attack and they've lost the ball. The goal that would put them in front, and the goalkeeper can make a straightforward save there. Yeah, you'd have been... Um, this for the lead. Now Gibbs. The goal at the Riverside. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Middlesbrough. 63 minutes played, 3-1. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. West Brom want to make a change. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up. But they're keeping the ball well. Going to try one now. That's uh, straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Now, the manager's been getting into them on that touchline. They seem a little lackadaisical out there. Certainly not as uh, creative as they normally are. We have some goal news for you from Alan McAnally from the Swansea City game. It's a goal for Millwall. 72 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Happy birthday to me. Referee's given the free kick. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he scored what? might be a, a really important equalising goal. Might his team get a winner now. Furlong. In the clear in front of goal. That hasn't troubled the keeper. Alan McAnally is our man today at the Kirklees Stadium. Alan, I believe there's been a goal. It's a second goal for Birmingham City. It's been scored by Alvaro. An early cross was sent into the box and he hit it on the volley back across the keeper. 77 minutes played, 2-2. Two -two. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Moving it nicely and productively here. Surely! Oh, that's a fantastic goal! It's offside, that's what the assistant has said. Well, when he looked... Looks back on that, I think he might be a bit disappointed because the striker seemed to time his run really well. Well, they've decided to make a change. There's activity down there amongst the substitutes, and one will be coming on. Well, over to the Stoke City Stadium now, where Alan McAnally has some news, some goal news, Alan. It's a third goal for Stoke City. It's been scored by Nick Powell. That's his second today. Nobody was within five yards of him as the ball broke to him on the edge of the box, and he fired home confidently. Eight minutes remain, 3-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Defender's done well here to clear the danger. Disappointed with that touch. They're looking good when they attack. Spaced across the ball now. He's had a go here. He saved it and saved it well. He's put in the corner. Time to hit the corner, 
and the man at the front post gets it away. A great chance to go in front. There's only a minute to go. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. Two minutes of added time. Filip Krovinovic. Oh, he's through. That's out of danger there with that clearance. They set it up well for the cross. Has a go here. But that's it, it's over. And it's over. Mateus Pereira.